In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can connect CG dropshipping to your Shopify. Now, this is an easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how you can do this. So if you don't know that um, CG, like after you, after someone places an order on your Shopify, like CG will take care of everything. They will ship the item directly to your customer and you don't even have to, to give the address of the customer to CG because everything will be done automatically and I'm going, I'm going to show you how you can set that up, okay? Now the first thing you want to do guys, you want to click on settings at the very bottom left of your Shopify store and then you want to click on apps and sales channels and you want to click on Shopify app store in the top right, okay? Now the first thing you want you need to do guys is to download an app, it's called CG Dropshipping, okay? It's the official app of CG Dropshipping company. Now you just want to download this app as you can see, it's called CG Dropshipping. Now you want to click on add app. And next step you want to do guys is you want to click on install app in the top right. Now you just want to give it a few seconds, now it's installing on your Shopify. And now it will take you directly to your um, like CG dropshipping account. You want to click on authorize or you want to click on create. Um, if you don't have an account, you want to click on register here. Now for me, I already have an account on CG. Now if you don't have it, you just want to click on register and enter the information. Now I have it, I'm going to click on, on authorize and I'm going to click on confirm. Again, authorize. Now now in the next step guys you need to do one thing like if you if you if you haven't linked your shopify store to cg you want to do that right now now i have linked my shopify to cg autumn like as you can see it's, it's it says here authorization success now for you click on authorize authorization in the top left click on shopify and next thing you want to do guys after you click on shopify you want to add here the your shopify account now i'm going to show you how it will look um this is how it will look click on authorize yeah that's it now if it says something like this okay if if you see something like that that, that means you have successfully linked your shopify store to cg now if it doesn't say something like this you want to go to your Shopify, okay? And then you want to click on settings at the very bottom left and then copy this this uh, your domain name, okay? This is your domain name and then paste it there. It will ask you guys to add your Shopify store. You want to add that name here and then click on confirm or save or whatever they have there. And this is how it will look. Now we have successfully um, connected our Shopify to CG, okay? Now, next steps, guys, you want to do, you want to click on cg.com in the top left. And after that, you want to select a product. Now, the, the, uh, the thing that you need now is to find a winning product, okay? Now, for me, I will just um, list a product here and I'm going to show you guys how you can make CG, like ship the orders automatically to your customers, okay? Now, I'm going to go with this product, for example. This one now after you after you click on any product you can easily list this exact product on your shopify store now as you can see here, guys i just created this shopify store right now and i'm going to click on products as you can see it only has one product now let's see that how we can import or add products from cg to shopify now after you guys you click on any products you will see here a few different options here at the bottom you want to click on list okay now after guys you click on list as you can see this product has different variations as you can see so we i'm just i'm just going to, to find another product that doesn't have a lot of variations i'm just going to go with this one for example let's just go with this one and see so this one has like five colors so i, I like to use this type okay i'm going to click on one piece i'm going to yeah and then click list as you can see and as you can see, this uh, product has five different variations, yeah, or seven. Now, what you need to do, guys, after you click on list, you want to select here your Shopify store, okay? Make sure it's your Shopify store here. And the next thing, guys, you want to do is, like, it says here, ship from. So, if you want this item, this uh, item that if you are targeting, for example, people 
specifically from United States and you want the item to come from United States, you can do that on CG, you can just click and then you can select USA Warehouse. Now if you want products to come from China to United States, as you can see, ship my orders most to United States, you want to select here United States, okay? And here you can select which two ways you want. It depends on what you want. For me, I like to use China Warehouse because of cheap prices compared to USA Warehouse because they charge more. So I'm going to go with China. And product type, you just wanna enter here product type, click on add new. And you wanna add, for example, this product is about like, let me check, just, just a test, okay. I'm going to add here the test, confirm. Now, next thing you want to do, guys, you want to enter here your price, okay? Now, this is the total dropshipping cost. Now, if someone places an order on your Shopify, this is how much money CG will take of the money, okay? That you receive after someone pays, after the customer pays. This is how much money CG will take, including the shipping and then including the shipping fee, the product fee, okay? Now you wanna click on your price. As you can see, it says here your price. So this is how much money you are going to charge. For example, if you charge here $60, that means you are going to make, you are going to make, um, you are going to make like $4 every time someone buys this product from your Shopify store. Now you wanna enter the price of all the like different colors here. So for example, I'm going to go to 40, 40, 40. Now, after that, guys, after you do this, um, you want to click on, let me show you guys what you need to do next. Now, after you do these steps, you want to click on list it now, okay? So, if you click on list it now, as you can see, it says here, listing in progress. You may check the listing status in, in on your own listing. Listed products can be managed in listed. Now, this exact product will be imported to our Shopify store. And I'm going to show you guys other steps, okay? Now, as you can see, this is the product. It's imported to our Shopify store. Now, if you click on that product, you can then edit the title if you want. If you want to come up with a, um, a unique title. Uh, also, the description here. You can uh, edit anything, the pictures, as you can see. Uh, you can do a lot of things, okay? The price, you can edit the price even on your Shopify store. You can do that, okay? Um, yeah, that's it. You, if you want, you can edit the next information in the next product information. You want to click on next and that's it. Yeah. And then you can edit other things here. So after that, guys, what you need to do guys next is you need to click on uh, your account in the top right, click on profile. And after that, guys, you want to click on products in the top. Okay. Now, the reason we, why we do this is we want guys for like we want CG to ship the item automatically to our customers. OK, now, as you can see, this is the product that we have listed to our Shopify, like the product that we have imported to our Shopify store. Now, this is exactly what's going to happen. Like click on like click on these three little dots here and then click CG fulfillment. And as you can see, it will it, it will say here fearful by CG. You want to click on yes. Inventory managed by CG. You want to click on yes, and then click confirm. So every time someone buys this product from your Shopify store, CG will take care of everything. Okay. Now next thing you want to do, guys, you want to go to your Shopify store and you want to click on where it's a, a online store. Okay. You want to click on online store, and after that, guys, you want to scroll down. And make sure like you choose a theme for your Shopify if you haven't done that already. Now, after that, guys, after you do all these steps, uh, you want to click on preferences. OK, you want to click, you want to click on online store and click on preferences and you want to uncheck the password protection. As you can see, we say a, a password protection. You want to uncheck this where it says restrict access to visitors with passwords. You want to click on it and then check toggle that off okay now if you don't have a plan if you if you don't have a plan if you are not paying for shopify you are not allowed to do that so make sure you uncheck this box now as you can see i am not allowed it's guaranteed because i didn't pay for the plan on this on this new shopify store because i'm just trying guys to explain to you how this whole thing works now after you uncheck that 
you want to click on save in the top right and now your product your store will be active it will be alive people if they search on it on google they will find your store if you remove if you uncheck that box okay so if you have any questions let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment see you guys in the next video